Ask Reddit by Captain Adamman. What's a job that only exists because people are stupid? I've worked in risk analysis for years. Some of the stuff you see around dangerous equipment would make you question how we survived as a species for so long. But it's the everyday stuff that really shocks me. A guy was complaining that he had his kettle taken away. I saw the plug it was cracked and barely hanging together. The guy who took it, said it was in a puddle of water. There's a lot of complaining about health and safety gone mad, and money wasted bubble wrapping things. But in reality, people just seem utterly prone to harming themselves. I always think, there's reasons for nearly everything having warning labels. Some of which are outright mind-boggling. It's because someone did that exact thing warning not to. Nigerian Prince do you think there are any real Nigerian princes anymore? If so they must be getting a lot of angry phone calls. As someone in its support, it's us. Is it plugged in? Is it turned on? Televangelist. I once visited my great grandmother. There was a televangelist on. I turned off the TV. Then, during dinner. They started talking about the idiot. Spam callers. Increasingly this isn't even a job, it's done by slave labor. https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash fraud underscore factory. I used to work at a water park. We had to have a lifeguard stationed at the exit of the changing room to make sure the customers did not enter the pool area naked. I work at a theme park and we have to have someone stationed by a shallow moat in a playground to make sure kids don't drink the water. Nothing in theme parks surprises me. Most call center service. There would be some but nowhere near the staff if people only called for things that required a human. Really? Like 99% of the stuff in our base is on our website and the other 1% is just stuff we find that works. Just that we don't want dumb people doing it because well dumb people tend to fuck things up worse than they already have lol. Like RTFM lol. Timeshare salespeople. My dad once took me to one of those timeshare hard sell events to teach me a lesson. We sat through all the different stages they go through while he explained every sales technique they were using and how to keep stringing them along to get them to drop to their actual best offer. Then of course we just walked away with our free gift certificate to a steakhouse. There were at least a dozen other people there who just ate the whole thing up and signed on the dotted line. Blew my mind and one of the most important learning experiences I ever had. Chiropractors. The dude who created it, Daniel David Palmer, said the ghost of a dead doctor gave him all the knowledge during a seance. It's all bullshit, folks. You'd be better off seeing a PT or a massage therapist. PT here. I was talking with a Jiro once and brought up DD Palmer. He said to me, in all seriousness, that Palmer didn't actually invent chiropractic because it has been around for thousands of years. In fact, Hippocrates, namesake of the Hippocratic Oath that medical doctors take, was a chiropractor. And to top it off, he told me that physical therapy was only invented after WWII because the medical establishment thought chiropractic was too popular. Again, he was completely serious. By the time he was done, I couldn't even respond to his stupidity and had to just walk away. Neil deGrasse Tyson once said, if people actually knew statistics casinos wouldn't be a thing. But everyone is winning and having a great time in the commercials. As a tattoo remover, definitely tattoo remover. We still good for my appointment on Tuesday? Faith healers, reiki healers, etc. Saw someone's job was psychic surgeon recently. Fucking psychic surgeon. Those crypto NFT stock trade frauds that constantly are advertised on YouTube. Seems that 90% of search and rescue could be eliminated if there weren't any stupid people, 
particularly the search part of the equation. Our local team had t-shirts made that said, we interfere with natural selection. Darwin Award Staff Nigerian Prince Animal Shelter Workers My two unfixed pets mated and had 15 babies. Here Yago and the cycle continues. Stupid and selfish people. Influencers. I have to vehemently disagree. I run a small, remote cabin resort that was a slow failure for most of 100 years. I reached out to four influencers in the mom sphere and lifestyle travel world, in my local area within a 50 mile radius. Four free trips, four free dinners, and my results are absolutely astounding. For the first time ever, we gave holiday bonuses. Revenue is up 80%. We were sold out every single weekend from May through this weekend. It's been an incredibly positive business relationship. Mormon missionary. Not technically a job though because missionaries pay a multi-billion dollar corporation for the privilege of recruiting new customers for the corporation. On top of the dollar sign dollar sign they already pay in tithing. It is services. I work with very educated, very experienced nurses. I can't tell you how many times I've sent in service request tickets for their computers only to find out that the caps lock was on or something was unplugged. I know the tech guys roll their eyes every time they see my name on a request, lol. I'm a unit secretary, BTW. I just put in the service request, I don't get paid enough to troubleshoot. I'm a correctional officer. I assume that counts. The people who make do not swallow warning labels. Chiropractors. Chiris, crystal healers, magnetic healers, all that dumb woo woo stuff. I've worked in cyber security products for years. All of them only exist because investors demand that most companies build tech faster than it is possible to do securely. It's an industry greedily building fixes for problems that exist because of greed. A lot of civil lawyers probably would be out of a job if people weren't idiots. We'd still need some but demand would be much lower.